background music right I'll turn everything else up within itself I'll just change the master volume I'll leave the subtitles on for you guys because I know you like to read sometimes you know what I can do now I can move my camera back down to where it should be sweet ah oh, that feels so good sitting in my corner right, let me just get snuggled in here oh. as the game goes on if you could give me some feedback on the on, on the sign that would be grand only if it's terrible if it's great, just don't compliment me. I can't handle it. Do my eyes deceive me? Uh, yeah. Who's this voyeur guy that you're talking about? Sounds like a creep. How are you doing, Kodak? You're, you're a camera. <laughs> you must be a voyeur. But now you're a layman. It's fine. Hey, what you guys do behind your keyboards is none of my business. You can overshare if you like. But you don't have to. And just take a breath. <sighs> ah, smells like candles and incense. Not in my room, just because of the game. You know, special coffee. Oh, I got uh, one shot of vanilla, one shot caramel today. I was going to go for the two shots of caramel, but I was like, no, 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 no. Sports Direct mug. Yeah, I've had this thing for... Oh, man. I've had this mug for over 10 years and not a chip on it, not a stain, nothing. Very rugged. And you know what? I might be wrong here, but let's say I'm not. I might be the only person in the whole country that has one of these because Sports Direct, I think, is not a thing in the Netherlands. Did you know that? Wow. That's my humble brag. Oh, man, I need to do better. I'll make sure there's some good creepy ones. Oh, this was the beginning. Oh, well. France. Here we go. December 10th, 1792. <sighs> Stop! You bandit. You're not getting anywhere with this bond. Hey, look at Smaggy Smith. You know, I kind of get the same feeling, my dear Sarah. Mark Strong. Listen. Nothing. Not a sound. David Tennant. No one's coming to save you. Huh. That's what you think. The Golden Order knows exactly where we are. <laughs> By the time your ridiculous secret society turns Ooh. up, I'll be long gone. As for you, nothing will remain of your body. Oh. If you touch a single hair of my mother's head, oh, I'll mother. you alive. You know, Louis, I have no intention of beating your dear mother. There are more persuasive ways of making you talk. You've stolen something from me that I intend to get back. Oh. What is that? Where have you hidden it? Von Borschert, you can't sell that book on the black market anymore. This is finished. We know you're planning on selling at one of Lord Mortimer's parties. All right? Just tell us who the buyer is and we Jasper can make a deal. Carrot. Oh you have no idea God, of the trouble you've gotten totally yourself right, into. You're totally right, man. I've not thought about him in forever. Holy crap, is he still alive? Oh, but you will tell me where it's hidden. I can promise you that. Oh, stop annoying our host, Louis. Son, didn't what happened to you in Rome teach you anything? Just a few more minutes and my concoction will be ready. With this, your bodies will dissolve in less than four hours. Oh, damn, he's gonna melt us. You'll see. It loosens tongues in no time. You know, I have to admit, Mother, the only thing you've ever taught me is that damn motto of yours. Always remain rational. 
and open. I got it. I've opened our shackles. Draw him over here. I'll take care of him. Von Burchard. Maggie Smith's got Von the Burchard. balls of the family. Mm -hmm. Listen. Let's make a deal. I'll tell you where the book is if you let my mother go free. Oh, what are you playing at? Don't worry, mother. You want to play the hero. I am the Pity hero. you're not in any position to do so. For the last time. For the last time. Where is Alazif? Let Ooh. me do this. Trust me. Oh, okay, Maggie. I trust you. You've been in so many great movies, you've never let me down. Please, be my guest, mother. Mm. Oh, shit. Uh, he brought a knife to a gunfight. What a fool. Shoot him. Uh, oh. Well done, Louis. You reacted perfectly. How do you feel, mother? Couldn't be better. Ooh. He's alive, so I can question him after we get back. Pity he's just a middleman. Hmm. Means I haven't finished with this case. Oh, I had a feeling you'd be running off on one of your adventures again, Mother. You know what? I'm warning you. This time, I'm coming with you. No. Even though you impress me more and more, I have to do this on my own. Mother, you're no spring chicken anymore. Ouch. Let's go home. And don't forget to send our men to tend to Von Borchardt. <laughs> Kick him. Yep. He's fine. I'll take it. All right. Okay. January 20th, 1793. I think so, FX still. Although I didn't say that on the disc when I put it in. Big Bad Wolf Studio. Disc. You know, you know what I'm talking about. You know, discs. Games come on discs. Come on, get with the time, see? Well done, Mother. You just had to pick up Bob Burchard's trail on your own, didn't you? You ditch me in Paris with no explanation, and off you go to infiltrate one of the world-renowned receptions of this Lord Mortimer. And now he writes me to say that you've gone missing on his private island? Which, by the hmm. way, looks more like a big rock than a paradise island. This comes in physical copies. At least he could do you have the wrong word. How physical copies are called prints. In any case, it is time for you to stop all this, Mother. <laughs> it no longer suits your age. Well, oh. I'm sure I'll find you once again, slogging through the caves beneath the island, searching for some long Oh, those eyes. Look at those hunting. eyes. It's but a you lovely just color. Can't live without. I'm already hating this trip, and all I've done is Contrary think about it. Contrary to what one may be able to imagine, it was not the host himself who invited me. Well now, Duchess, we find ourselves both invited by Sir Hall. Well, how very amusing. Oh, hello. Perhaps we have some common interests, Your Eminence. Is this your first time at one of Lord Mortimer's legendary parties? Oh, no. We have been friends since long ago. But as I'm doing some business with Sir Hall, the invitation came from him. Well, I simply can't wait for all the festivities to begin. And you, good sir, what brings you here? Uh, it's, uh, uh, business with Lord Mortimer. Let's not raise any red flags. Lord Mortimer asked me to join him. We have some business to take care of. Oh, those oh, eyes, man. How mysterious. You adapt quickly, my son. You get along here like a fish in water. Would you believe that we are all here hoping to solve our personal issues? <gasps> You'll see. Really? Right. I doubt that you came here to look for your mother, your eminence. Anyway, consider yourself fortunate, young man, because there are many who dream of simply one day setting foot on this island, and only a very few ever make it. Indeed, 
I imagine this must be your first time here. Eh, uh, let's see. Turn the question back to the Duchess. Yes, the prying priest. But if we say, if we don't answer, it'll be suspicious. And this is one of those choice matters kind of games, you know? So it's not just like you have choices and you get different dialogues and whatever and it all leads to the same place. Well, I'm assuming so. That's usually what choice matters means. It doesn't just go the same way every time. But, uh, I don't know. I think he's hitting on the Duchess, and I think we should save the Duchess, so let, let, let's just not answer him and talk to the Duchess. And you, Duchess? You seem to be quite accustomed to things here. Am I right? I do not think that one can ever get accustomed to what Lord Mortimer prepares for his guests. Oh, but you place? are right. This is not the first time I've been on this wharf. If you've come back again, I imagine you what's must find it to be of some interest. Here, everything is possible if you make the right choices. It really is up to you whether you leave better off. That's a great life tip right there. Please excuse me if you Very find nice. me overly curious, young man. How are you doing? I did not mean to cause you any embarrassment. Come, Duchess. They are waiting for us. We're moving, Monsieur de Richet, if you would like to join us. I'm coming, Duchess. A cardinal? A Duchess? I wonder if all the guests here are this prestigious. If I'd known, I, I would have gone for a better suit. Oh! Uh, little humble joke there. Uh, oh shit. Are you alright? My perfect eyes. Ow. Oh. <coughs> Excuse me. Whoa. Mother? Oh shit. <gasps> Your hand. Maggie. I'm so, okay, it's done. Did you put it in a safe place? Yes, I made sure no one was following me. Don't worry, Sarah, no one's going to find it. Sarah, that's her mum's name. Are you absolutely sure? Yes, I'm sure. Right. Just one thing left to do. No, mother, no, don't, don't! No. What the fuck? What? Have you lost your mind? There is no other way. If you, if you kill me, you won't find it. That is the point, my dear. No one must ever put their hands on it again. No. But I trusted you. Maggie, no! No, Sarah. Don't. No. Oh, that face. No! <gasps> you can run if you want to, Sarah. But you will pay for it. You. Uh, Louis, are you all right? What's going on? Here, take this. Thanks. I'm sorry. Keep it. Are you better? I'm fine. Don't worry. Hey, it's Pepsi. Late. Why don't, why no, don't you It's go not on Sherlock ahead Holmes. No, it's called I'll the Council. You, okay? Are you sure? Yes! I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sure, yes. Fine. She's not very observant, is she? No, she's not. Doing all right, a duchess is manipulative and the priest is known I for deadly little boy. My mother quickly. <laughs> Holy shit, man. Am I going crazy or, or what? The Red this Lantern. This can't be real. The, the duchess arrived I don't know, me. man. What's happening to me, for God's sake? Oh, I have control. This is good. I absolutely need to find you, mother. I just want to interact with things. Is there stuff to interact with? Might be the better question. Oh wait, the objective is in the top right. Go up to the manor. Oh, there's a duchess as well. It's funny, in the first couple of scenes in this game that I've seen so far, there's a kind of a... You know those TV shows? Laura likes these kind of TV shows. I call them like hyper-realistic, but it's probably the wrong term. It's those kind of shows that are just... Every every trait about them is just turned up to eleven to the point where you go that, you know, what the fuck? Like th this isn't at all like reflective of anything I can relate to. Uh, you know the 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 constant stimulation kind of drama shows. Like I would say the likes of like the Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt would fall into this category, or perhaps 
Uh, stuff like... Oh, I don't know what others... There, there's a load of them. I think you guys will probably know what I'm talking about, though. You're kind of smart. But, um... Yeah, the, the acting style, the dialogue as well, is, is very... It reminds me of that. So maybe this is a kind of a... A period drama that doesn't take itself so seriously. High school musical. I'm allergic to that. Get it away. You just put on the red lantern ring and you bleed from every orifice. Eyes, nose, mouth, and ears. What is the red lantern? I know I sound really stupid probably asking that, but if you could tell me, that would be great. Because I've got no idea. You're probably making a phenomenal point. Louis, during the trip, I had something I wanted to ask you, but we didn't happen to run into each other. Yes, Duchess? I'm not sure if you remember, but we've met before. Huh. At that time, you were of two minds as to your choice of career. Tell me, what have you been up to since? <gasps> Guys, we could be here for another two hours! Nice! Thank God it's a long Sunday stream. Do you see it comes from the universe like Superman, Batman and so on. Okay, cool. I'm not familiar with the character. Sorry. I, I'm, I've ne I was never really into comic books. I used to watch some animated shows and stuff, but I don't remember the Red Lantern. Sorry, dude. But I'm sure there are, like... The other seven people in here, or how many people there are, I don't know. Are, go are all nodding their head going... Elconic Enigma made a... That's a, that's a very good reference. Alistair is at fault here. Red Lantern isn't one particular. They're part of a Red Lantern core. <sighs> Red Lantern Core most known one would be Atrocious Atro Okay, if I were to say the word atrocious and apply it to that, that would be Atrocious. I have a feeling that that's not what that says. Green, yellow, and then exploded like pink, blue, white. They all represent some prime emotion. Think atrocities. Oh, thank you! Thank that that makes it so much better. Atrocities. Atrocitus. Thank you very much, Fitzy. <coughs> that sounds a lot better. I, I still don't know what it means, though. Let's see here. My class. Hmm. Diplomat. The diplomat shines in society. A talented speaker. Well, he avoids faux pas. Faux pas. A faux pas is like a controversy, like a, an event, a negative event, right? <laughs> Better than atrocious, yes, that's right. Still, I bet that's still a word. If it's not, we're making it up right now. Atrocious. What does it mean? And then we'll, we'll, we'll write to the Collins English Dictionary and go, Hey, you missed one. Uh, there's a lot, I don't blame you. Easy done. Easy done. Here, I've got you. It's okay. Oh, atrocious. Defined as... A faux pas is a misstep. Okay. He avoids a faux pas. Missteps. And he can convince those with whom he is talking without offending them. I can often do the first part of that sentence. It's not often that the second part also applies. Politics in, in his field... Is, sorry, it's his field of predilection. Okay. Alright. Oh, okay, I can relate to some of that. Let's see here. Occultist. The occultist is a master of deception. Convinced of the importance of knowledge, he has acquired extensive expertise in science and the arts. Using others to achieve his own ends does not bother him. Ooh, that sounds like a little... Like, a uh, Sociopathic. Detective. The de de pardon me. The detective excels in investigation. He is trained to notice every detail in his surroundings, as well as in people he questions. A hands-on man. He does not shy away from the direct approach. That's me. I'm a detective. I'm also just going to refilm a vaporizer super quick, if you'll just bear with me a second. But we're going to be a detective in this, I think. It's going to be great. Time period. This is seven, uh, 1793 is the year that we're in right now. We started in 1792 for one scene. It was really worth it. We just popped in, you know. Oh, 1792. Oh, that's not bad here. Scene was over. Now we're in, now we're in the meat and potatoes. 17... 1793. 
Yeah, the occultist. That does sound interesting, though. But it's just not—it's just not who I am. Tell you something, I've enjoyed the scenes in the game so far. Some of the dialogue's quite good, if weirdly executed. I, I'm trying. I need to work out what tone this game is trying to set, because I thought I understood it at the end of the first, uh, the first scene there with the mother and the son talking to each other. Kind of like you know, you know, Kingsman. Those movies—they're really good at that. They're quite. They're quite serious. They're like serious action movies in terms of them being real action movies, but they just don't take themselves seriously. You know? They're great for that. Especially the second one with Elton John. When he saved them from that dog at close to the end of the film, I was in stitches. I was like, go Elton John! You're the man! You are the dog whisperer. Way better than that Caesar did. I don't think anybody in the theatre agreed with me, though. Sadly. I mean, they're all wrong. Now to fill up this contraption, and then, we'll, then we will become a detective. <clears throat> and we will detect. What does it say we're going to do? We're going to notice every detail. And that's a guarantee. So the Steam review for this game is weighed heavily on that. Because if uh, any details are missed, it won't be my fault. I chose detective. Right? Right. I knew you were on my side. But now, I'm a detective. Ooh, look, skills. Again, as I said, two hours, remember? We're going to be here for two hours, creating the guy. Let's see, Detective unlocks the questioning, vigilance, logic, psychology, and agility skills. Agility? Alright. You now have seven effort points to use in your skills. Your past granted you... Oh, wow, see those choices are already paying off. Because we chose, uh, oh, like, why we were there and... Something else. And now we have skill points, based upon those decisions. So your past granted you one skill point in manipulation. Oh, I don't want to manipulate people. And your past granted you one skill point in psychology. I'll take that one. So I have, what did it say? Seven effort points. And I'm assuming, like, effort points are... What the hell are effort points? I don't know. Alright, I can unlock abilities that are not immediately available to me. That's fine. For now, though, we'll start with the, we'll we'll start to build up the character. First of all, we shall show off his natural gifts, his expertise that serves society, the detectiveness of his being. Let's do it. Questioning detectives need to be good at that. Vigilance, that too, especially if they're on the beat. Psychology. I mean, how else are you gonna coax some stupid coked-up hoodlum to come outside after you've told them that you're the police? Uh, logic? Yeah, alright, I'll take that. And, and, and agility. I don't know why agility is... Like, diff maybe, maybe mental agility? Like, thinking fast? Physical? Oh, I guess if you're chasing down a hoodlum. Chasing down a hoodlum, that's it. Okay, that, that'll be what it is. Okay, I'm gonna get the psychology up to level 2. There we go. So I've got four, four points left, I think. No, I don't. Crap. I had seven, I now have none, and I only assigned three things, so I don't think it's linear. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, I can get them back. Oh, that's nice. Uh, wait, you now have seven effort points. Alright, I'm really confused actually, because that makes no bloody sense, eh? You now have seven effort points. To use your skills. Or oh, to use my skills. Not to use on my skills. Okay, so these must be like the skill points then. Okay, well if I have three then, I'm going to assign one to psychology, one to questioning because I'm a detective, and another one to vigilance. Vigilance, yes, because we have already seen a rather well-breasted lady. I'd like the excuse that I'm just being vigilant. So we'll do that. Nice. Well, over the last few years, I've solved a number of crime cases. Like the chauffeur d'Angers, for example. 
thieves that torture their victims with burning embers. Mm, For example. Charming. How did you catch them? I told the most cowardly one that the others had given him up. Ah, and I wager your thief suddenly started to talk. You wouldn't believe it. He told us everything. The jobs, the stashes, the names of his partners. <laughs> Couldn't shut him up. I heard about that case, but I didn't know you were the one who solved it. I'm flattered that the news made it across the channel. And you've got a darn good memory, Duchess. Well, they say I have the memory of two people. But please, call me Emily. Fine, Ooh, Emily. First name Tell terms. Me, I was actually helped on that case by my mother. You wouldn't know her by any chance. Wait, Louis. We've already met. You do remember me, don't you? Oh, cock. Eh... Well, she just told me her name. Oh, we could lie. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, oh, you, oh yeah. Ah, yeah, sorry, just took me a moment there. Or not at all, sorry. Oh, hold on, I, um, Nah, let's be honest, let's be honest. I do not remember you. Please excuse me, madam. I'm sure we've met before, but I don't remember where. Hmm. I appreciate your honesty, even if it's not very flattering for me. I imagine that with your beauty, madam, it's the first time a man hasn't remembered your face. Well, I must say, you make up for yourself rather elegantly. Save. That was a Please good save. Please stop torturing me. I'm completely at your mercy. Where have we met? Four years ago, in London? No. Sorry, I, I don't remember. I wasn't in, in the London. the office of William Pitt. Remember? No? I'm so sorry, Emily, but I William really don't remember you. Pitt. Let's drop it, Louis. It doesn't matter. Well, clearly right, it does, because you will not shut up about it. Oh, okay. I'll let me read this after I take a sip of my coffee. Okay. Your skills allow you to discover hidden details. Select the object that is m the most suggestive of the situation in order to discover them. Opportunities do not consume effort points. Oh, that's good. To access the skill required for the situation, you need to you just need to have it unlocked. All right. Oh, let's. I ask her a question. She answers with another. Hmm. Is she playing with me? Oh damn! I'm 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 uh, I'm analyzing her. Cool. Personality. Each person you meet on the island has their own personality, which makes them vulnerable to certain skills and immune to others. Exploiting their personality is crucial to achieve your personal goals. Skills used against Im immunities will not succeed and leave you exhausted. Meanwhile, why is that capitalized? Anyway, meanwhile, exploited vulnerabilities, capital again, will give you one effort point back. Oh, right, so if I do well, I get, like, a recharge. If I do badly, I get diddled. No! Immunity revealed, vulnerability revealed. Alright. Emily, please excuse my insisting, but you still haven't answered about my mother. Do you know her? You'll see, Louis. Everybody here knows Sarah de Richet. She is immune to logic. I don't know where we're going like this, Emily, but you're connected to my mother one way or another. And if I can believe my vision, you don't have much of a place in her heart. I really like his eyes. Talents. You obtain talents when carrying out certain actions. Remember to review their unlock conditions and effects, as they will offer very interesting improvements. Review all talents in the dedicated tab in the menu. Okay. And how do I do that? Alright. Talents. Oh. Increases your effort points pull by one. Reach level three. Conviction and agility skills. Wow, okay, this is a little this is a lot deeper than I thought it would be. This is like I thought it was just gonna be like a Oh, we should play The Walking Dead sometime, by the way. Maybe go through the Telltale games one by one watch the train wreck but yeah like this looks a lot i thought it was just going to be like a like a walking dead like a telltale game kind of thing but this is actually not this is deeper than that traits charismatic presence do you agree 
please say yes. You trusted mother, I did. You have chosen the detective class. All right, so these, okay. These are traits that I've acquired just through making choices, okay. All right, oh wait, there's, I've got little dots now. Are they everywhere now? Oh, oh, they are, look at that. I'm going to look at that pot. Royal Jelly. Royal Jelly restores two effort points. You cannot carry more than five. All right. I just looted. Okay, so there's nothing else there. I must have just got lucky with that little royal jelly. Royal jelly. That sounds suspicious. What's so royal about it? Does it come with a red carpet? You can keep its slime off the floor as it shimmies around, exchanging ple pleasantries with the with the with the help. All right. Okay. Let's head towards the manor. Oh, there's a guy here. Oh yeah, I'm going to investigate this though. Uh, another royal jelly. Two royal jellies. I wonder if this guy want, want, uh, wants a royal jelly. Good evening, sir. May I ask your name, please? Louis Moras de Richet. Monsieur de Richet, delighted to welcome you among us, sir. You must be Sarah de Richet's son. I must tell you we are doing our utmost to find your mother as quickly as possible. What do you know about my mother? What can you tell me about the disappearance of my mother? Two weeks have passed since Sir's mother went missing. All the staff here have since been busy searching every nook and cranny of the island. But Sir may rest assured we shouldn't be long in finding her. And just what have you found so far? It would seem that Sir's mother may be hiding on the island and regularly changing her location. But no one seems to know why she would find this behavior necessary. What do you mean? On several occasions, we have found leftovers of food, a few of her things, hmm. or even traces of campsites. The reason why we are searching the wharf again is because lights were spotted there last night. Where we are now? Indeed, sir. According to our information, lights were seen in the middle of the night, sir. After verification, none of the guests seemed to have left the manor last night. We think that perhaps sir's mother was here. I feel sorry for this servant guy. I think he's been overworked. Because... Like, I literally just told him my name. He asked for it. And he keeps talking about this sir guy. I've got no idea. I was asking about my mother, he keeps talking about somebody else's. I've got no idea what he's talking about. Hmm... Have you found anything here? And did you find anything then? We discovered a certain amount of <gasps> damage, sir, on the wooden part of the wharf. What type of damage? Oh. Broken barrels, mainly. We'll do whatever is necessary to have them rapidly repaired. But quite frankly, I can't imagine what Sir's mother would have been doing with them. What could mother have been doing with barrels? Nevertheless, our search of the wharf hasn't been entirely unsuccessful, though. Hmm. What do you mean? We seem to have found an object that would appear to belong to Sir's mother. A handkerchief. The handkerchief is embroidered with the initials SDR. We came to the Sign conclusion distance. that they are the initials oh, of Sir's mother, Sarah de Richet. I have orders to give it to Lord Mortimer as soon as I see him. I know my mother. She's not the kind to go for a midnight stroll in the war for nothing. I've got to find out what the hell she was doing here. Where exactly did you find the handkerchief? On the landing dock, sir. The one you arrived by. Oh. Close by. I should probably investigate that, being the investigator. He already gave me the handkerchief. Oh, cool. I didn't need to manipulate him because I was so nice he just decided to comply. I, know, I don't want to say goodbye to him yet. Let's talk here. Logic. Let me have the handkerchief. I'll take care of it. Did he not just hand it to me? Give me the handkerchief. I'll personally show it to Lord Mortimer. Well, 
I... I've traveled hard for several days in order to get here. Yes, but... Invited by your master. No, of course, but... Because my mother went missing right under your nose. Sir, please... Shit. And having only just arrived, you refused to give me her personal belongings? Of course not, sir. It was never my intention to contradict, sir. Here you are. I must return now. It is still much to prepare in order to welcome all the guests. I laid it on thick there. That was great. It is indeed your handkerchief, mother. Talk about like direct and to the come point. Here for a specific reason. I need to know what it is. Let's think. What could she have been doing out here on this wharf? Hmm. Let's see. Let's investigate more of the wharf. Apparently, I can. If I hold down the middle click, I can move like faster. Barrel has been broken for quite some time. Well, of course, yeah, he did say that. Must be an incredible view from up there. Impossible to set foot on the island without being seen from 300 meters away. Hmm. Not quite sure how irrelevant that commentary was, but I'm sure it was. Looks like a bar from an old gate. This miserable old bar has been broken fairly recently. The edges are still clean, hmm. and the tip is blackened. Without analysis to the contrary, I put my money on cannon powder. Cannon pu Cannon powder? You would hear a cannon from 300 meters away, right? Should I take it or leave it? It could be a weapon. I'm taking it. This might just come in handy. Yep. All right. A sack of seeds. It's unopened. No one seems to have used any. Nobody was hungry, I guess. It wasn't that time of night yet. It was like everybody was sleeping, right? When the shenanigans went down in the middle of the night. Some rope. Apparently no one's touched it for a good long time. How do you know that? Let's see what's hidden inside. Oh, we're raking through people's mail. Wow, we're desperate. Find a clue. I might. Oh, let's read people's mail. We're desperate. Ah, uh, one of the letters is stamped with the seal of the order. And oh. I recognize your handwriting anywhere, Mother. But who is this Samuel Ritter Doshua? Who are you writing to? I don't recognize the name. Let's see what's inside this letter. So. Dear Samuel, my stay on Lord Mortimer's Island is going wonderfully well. As I find myself in such charming company, I plan to stay a few more weeks. Oh. Would you be so kind as to send me a gift that I'd like to give to our old friend Manuel Godoy? I would be most grateful. I have been told that he's going to join us here soon. I would like to mark the occasion. Thank you in advance. Yours devotedly, Sarah Faustine de Richer. Devotedly. What is your game here, Mother? Secrets. Always more secrets. You never talk to anyone using language like this. Yeah. Something's going on here. That's just not the mom I grew up with. Samuel Ritter? And for crying out loud, who is this Manuel Godoy that you keep bringing up? Think. You sound so stupid saying that good doy. Why does the name doy. sound so familiar? Hmm, I don't know. Politics is locked. Shame. No, I can't remember. I'm guessing he's a man of some importance. Spanish, I'd say. Oh, wow. But just can't put a face to him. Well, hope we meet to talk about it soon, Mother. I don't know what you've gotten yourself into this time, but I'll bet you've got a lot to tell me. Okay, so we walk, go through the rest of the letters. I think I can. Let's see what's hidden inside. Examine the letters one at a time. Here we go. Let's look. <clears throat> okay, let's have a gander here. To Mr. Carl Corey. It's too badly written. I I can't make out the address. Oh. To Mr. R. Galbraith. Address is 50 Bedford Square, London. Hmm. To Miss Joaquina da Silva Xavier. That sounds Spanish. 
The address he's in Sao Paulo, Brazil. Oh. That reminds me. It's about time the order sent some envoys there. Maybe Portuguese then. The envelope that has ideograms on it. Hmm. A letter written in an oriental language. Do I know this language? Oh, I don't have linguistics. I don't know this language. I have the slightest idea what it says. Damn. Examine the other letters. Oh, there's more! Dr. H.B. De, De La Bath. An address in Cairo, Egypt. Mortimer communicates with the whole world, apparently. That's how secret societies work. They have little chapters in all over the world. Yes. Mr. P.V. Hoven. Probably a Dutchman. Very observant. Good detecting, detective. To his eminence, Giovanni Angelico Brasci. This envelope is meant for the Vatican. Occultism. <laughs> That's very funny that the Vatican and occultism are in the same screenshot. Anyway, doesn't ring a bell. This name sounds familiar. Brasci. No. <laughs> Can't seem to place it. Occultism. That is brilliant. Stand back. I'm gonna blow it. I'm not. Okay, so we fingered through the mail there. We'll head up to the where everybody else is, I guess. Wonder what that implies. I know. I know. Think of the children. I am. <laughs> Lots of societies that have that connection. Crazy. This chest might belong to Duchess Hillsborough. Ooh. I'm walking away for it. But I'm, I'm sure he's secretly thinking. Oh, I'm sure it doesn't have her underwear in it. Hey. Latin inscription. Anessis. Mi fili quantilia produncia mundus vergatur. Any of you guys know Latin? <laughs> okay, I just, I'm just going to pretend that it's uh, doodles of a five year old and leave. Okay, let's go up the stairs. Oh. How did Mortimer manage to build his manor at the top of the a rocky outcrop? The framing in this game is really good. I like it. I just realized I only got four uh, uh, effort points left. I better make them count. Presented. 